Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we got issues. So, uh, last night, we had to run up to uh, Damascus, which is about 30 minutes uh, north of here. And the uh, six hole here, it wasn't having a good time. Um, so, I'll go back to a clip I filmed last night and uh, kind of explain everything but meanwhile I'm going to start the truck up and see if it's still doing it today it might take it on a little test drive well the truck sounds okay we had to go to Damascus a little backstory we had to go to Damascus went to leave and the no throttle response it was very slow um and then on the highway coming home, it was lunging. Um, it's like you floor it and let off. And it would do that. And very slow throttle response. So it's like 11 o'clock. Look and try to see if we find anything. Well, guys, there's some looking around, but I'm just using the flashlight off my phone. My vehicle's got a little flashlight in his truck. So. I don't know, but the check engine code, the check engine light come on. So, tomorrow I'll run up here at AutoZone, have them scan it and look and see if I can find something. Alright, so obviously again, it's the next day here. Haven't started the truck all day. I uh, let it just kind of sit here. So, let's fire it up and see if we still got our check engine light and everything else well check engine light is still here but i'm gonna let it sit here and run a minute and see what we got going well guys truck's been sitting here running for a couple minutes and it seems seems completely fine so i don't know what's the deal about that but the uh, check engine light is still on. Uh, pressures are good. Truck is cold, obviously. It's sitting here running. Um, again, maybe five or so minutes. So it hasn't warmed up yet. But as far as our car response, that's <laughs> nothing wrong with that. I mean, last night when uh, we were on our way home, I could do that right there with no effect at all um you know anything over that it would it would start to take off and it would kind of bog and then the rpms would shoot up and gone you know um so i don't know what what was the deal and it's weird because the check engine light is not flashing a code so that almost leads me to believe it's a false code so I'm going to have my grandpa, since he's home now, I'm going to have him follow me to AutoZone. Uh, that way, if anything gets weird, and uh, we'll have them uh, check the code, see what it is, and then clear it and see if it comes back. Um, but I'm thinking it's probably just a false code. Also, another thing uh, about last night that was kind of weird to me uh, with what this thing was doing is just kind of, you know, cruising down the road you know 40 45 55 whatever it was surged so it, i mean you're cruising smooth not doing nothing with the pedals and it would it would surge pick up and go and then it would slow back down it would it would do that off and on but there wasn't really like a rhythm to it um, it would just kind of come and go so that's one thing also that it did so i'm not real sure about that but again i don't know for sure and also another thing another weird thing so i did a couple different things to try to check and whatnot and with the cruise set it didn't do it um it was kind of slow on the rpms but it didn't surge so like i said i'm gonna run up here to AutoZone, have them scan it uh see what the code is i'm almost thinking it'll probably be like a p0 299 or something like that 
uh, which I believe was lack of boost. Um, but anyways, like I said, run up here, get it, get it scanned, see what the code is. I don't have a code reader for this thing. And then we will see, um, we'll have them clear it obviously and see if it comes back. And also I'll see if it does it on the way up there. All right guys, so we're here at AutoZone. The truck did fine all the way up here, completely normal. So I'm gonna run in here, have them come out here and scan this thing and clear this code and we'll see what happens from there. But everything, like I said, everything up here, I mean, very normal. Everything is always ever done. So I think uh, might've just been a little glitch in the system and that's probably all. And then, like I said, check engine light that has to be cleared, but I think we're, I think we're doing all right here. So we'll just have to see what the code is and we'll go from there. Also guys, one more thing. So y'all can see all the shop lights are turned off. Uh, we installed one of these new LEDs and these things are ridiculous. So I'll, uh, I can unplug it right here. You can see on, off. These things are amazing. But I'm gonna disconnect these batteries, do the negatives on each battery, and then let the truck sit. But these things are gonna be great. I think we're gonna do one, two, three, and then do three of these between every set of the normal lights. And then do a couple here in the middle and then do the same thing on that side. So we're gonna have to order some more lights, but these things are ridiculously bright. And I can see on the camera here, um, <laughs> this is gonna make filming a breeze. But anyway, also don't worry about this wire right here. Uh, we're attempting to fix my air conditioning again, because uh, it's getting summertime, it kind of sucks. But Anyways, I'm gonna do this real quick and I'll get back with y'all. All right, guys, so I just uh, reconnected both of the batteries. And you see here, we have power. So, let's uh, start this thing up. See if we got a check engine light. Just like that. No check engine light, we're good to go. All right guys, so back in the truck. Um, as you can see, everything is working. The automatic headlights are working. Fog lights are working. High beam works. Uh, my my uh, light bar, it works. Everything works. Radio works, all that stuff. So now all I gotta do is go through here and set my, uh, my clock. Now the other thing kind of sucks is I lost my uh, triple odometer it reset itself uh, i reset that <laughs> the day and bought the truck so, it is what it is i remember exactly the miles that this truck had on it so it is what it is um i have 16,000 miles on this thing to this point in time and this is the first ever glitch or anything we've ever had but it is what it is you know it's one of them older truck type of deals um, and this thing, like I said, I know exactly how many miles the truck had on it when I bought it. So, it's not a big deal. Now, as far as this thing kicking um, hard into reverse like that, it's done that the last couple months. Um, like right here. Alright, it's not bad. Uh, it does it a lot, parked on a slope. Uh, so I guess there's a slope going up into the shop. Anyways, um, we're good. So I'm gonna take it on a drive up here and back about a two mile or so drive. See if it does anything weird, check engine light comes back on. But I think we're good to go. All right guys, sorry about the sun, but we are just about back at the house. We'll go down here to the shop, uh, turn these lights off. But you can see there, two and a half miles now. Um, little test drive, 
truck did fine. I mean, it didn't, nothing weird. No more check engine light, as you can see. So, we are good to go. Um, like I said, I think it's just one of them things, uh, one of the little glitches that happens. But, we're back. Everything's good to go. So, just thought I would uh, make this video kind of like an update. Um, and it might help somebody. I don't know. But, anyway, here we are. We're going here to turn these lights off. Uh, unplug some different things uh, we have on chargers and whatnot but we're back I still need to do this but if you disconnect your battery and you're uh, you need to reset just there and I believe yeah you can do whatever um, so then to go to minutes hit it again and there you go so that's that um, but anyways think that's going to be all for today's video guys we do have uh, some stuff on the way for this truck uh, and i am working on a couple things for this thing so if you guys are excited for that stuff i will tell you we do have cab bushings on the way i finally ordered cab bushings uh, that way we can get rid of the, the thunk back here uh, clunking around and all that crap we can finally get rid of that uh, i'll actually show you all what I'm talking about. So, uh, unlock that. So, back here, you can kind of hear it. That's the cab bushings. Uh, you can see the body lines don't match. These two back here are completely blown out. So, I got new ones coming from my energy suspension. Um, what else? Working on some uh, tail lights for this thing. Gonna do the headlights as well. Just a this little simple build on those. In here, got a couple things in here. Um, have some rock lights for the truck. And they're in my office. No, they're in here. So have rock lights in here and then have some uh, flush mounts here for the uh, rear bumper. And then have a couple other things ordered, but that'll have to be um, for some other videos. Been busy with a lot of other stuff. Um, still working on the shop. You can see stuff like this. I uh, want to get back on the white truck of Chrysler, the Mustangs. Trying to get the Mustangs done and get them out of here. But other than that, I mean, we're getting there. So little by little with this truck, it is my daily driver, like I've said before. So I don't want to tear the headlights out, the mirrors out and everything else to uh, paint and customize that stuff when <laughs> this is really it um you know i have the chrysler but it's not registered um these aren't registered yet they will be once they're finished but cars like that you can't register them because uh, it's got a salvage title it needs to be rebuilt and get a rebuilt title and all that kind of thing um the white truck it needs a couple little things I could daily drive it if I wanted to, but I just don't want to tear down this truck. Um, so that's, that's kind of that. But anyways, guys, like I said, I'm gonna end the video out here. So if you guys enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, please drop a like and comment down below. Smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. Hope everybody has a wonderful day.